here I am going to discuss about free surface effect. Well, this happens when a ship is having a partly filled tank. The partly filled tank is also called as a slack tank. Well, this free surface effect has adverse effect on ship stability. Basically, it is a transverse statical stability which gets affected. And we are going to study how it affects the transverse statical stability if a ship is having a partly filled tank or select tank. Now let us consider this vessel and this is the forward part and this one is the aft part and we are looking the ship in transverse direction. Well, we look the ship from aft and this is the transverse area. Well, it can be represented like this that this is the starboard side and this is the port side. Okay, well, let me amplify this and suppose this is a tank. And this tank is slack tank, which simply mean that the tank is uh, partly filled. Well, we know the definition of center of gravity. That center of gravity is a point where the total weight of the ship, this is the W, acts vertically downward like this. Now, suppose this is the water line where the ship is floating in water. So this is underwater volume, this one, and I can do the marking here. This one is underwater volume. The geometrical center of underwater volume is a center of buoyancy and a force of buoyancy acts vertically upward. In order to float the vessel, this force of buoyancy should be equal to the weight which acts vertically downward. Now, if the ship rolls, what will happen? As the ship rolls, the liquid inside the tank also moves towards lower side because liquid is free to move. Now, this will increase the underwater area. Now, this underwater volume is also increased. Underwater volume or you can say underwater area also. So, this way, the center of buoyancy is shifted from B to B1 and this force of buoyancy and this weight downward they get separated. Well, this force of buoyancy cuts at some point which is called transverse meta center and a writing lever is formed that is called GZ. The writing lever controls the ability of the ship to come back to upright position. Now if we see carefully that uh, the liquid level is parallel to this line. This was the water line and the level of the liquid is almost parallel to this water line. So the liquid has moved like this which is marked. So the center initially the center of gravity of the liquid was here. However, it is shifted like this to some other place which is G1 and which is towards lower side. So if the G is shifted from this position to this position, the center of gravity of the ship will also shift in this direction, in this direction. So we have this G1 here. Now the writing lever is only G1, Z1. And if we project this, then we have this point. Let's mark it G, V, capital G and V. So we will see that this writing lever G1, Z1 is equal to G, V and Z, V. And this stability triangle, instead of this big triangle, G, G, M and Z, it is only G, V, Z, V and M. 
so the stability is reduced we can say that this gvm is a gm of fluid and the gm is a gm a solid let me just write it here this gm initially was solid and this gvm is the fluid gm well ggv is a virtual loss of gm or simply we call it fsc so we can write this equation that the gm solid gm solid minus fsc gives me gm fluid basically if the liquid is free to move in a select tank this is affecting the stability and the stability is reduced this is causing a virtual loss of gm and that's why this is called free surface effect so for a vessel which is having a partly filled tank or select tank and it rolls out at sea we will have a loss of gm called virtual loss of gm or other name is fsc free surface correction which needs to be subtracted from gm solid gm solid metacentric height solid minus virtual loss of fsc gives me gm fluid now how to find this fsc well this fsc can be obtained by this free surface moment divided by displacement and this free surface moment the unit of free surface moment is turn meter and the unit of displacement is turn well it get cancel so the unit of free surface correction is meter we also know that the unit of gm is also meter or centimeter sometime so the unit of fsc is also meter the free surface moment is calculated by this formula i into di where i is the second moment of area and di is the density of liquid inside the tank inside the tank well just remember that di i stand for inside so this is the density of liquid inside the tank now let me explain the unit i is the second moment of area that means area multiplied by area so the unit is going to be m raised to the power 4 and the density the unit is ton per cubic meter well this uh, cubic meter will cancel it here so we'll get the unit ton meter since this is a free surface moment the unit is ton meter suppose this is length l and this is breadth the second moment of area i is calculated by l b cube by 12 well this is also called moment of inertia about the center line moment of inertia about center line so suppose this was the tank and this is the center line so the moment of inertia about the center line is this distance has to be 3 times b cube so l b cube by 12 and it should be noted that this moment of inertia is affected by the breadth of the tank we can modify this formula that free surface correction is a free surface moment divided by 
displacement and free surface moment is i into di where i is the second moment of area or moment of inertia about center line divided by a displacement we also know that the value of displacement is i into uh, let me just write it like this i into di and the displacement we know that this uh, density is equal to mass over volume so mass is equal to volume into density i replace this with displacement and this is underwater volume and this one is the density so if the vessel is floating in density do outside and i multiply with this v where v is the under water volume then i get this formula here let me just put it this way that this one is the under water volume and this one is the density of water outside outside where the ship is floating and this is the density of liquid density of liquid inside the tank inside the tank 